Hey everybody, Chuck from AnalogySig.com, and I am so far behind on reviews I can't catch up. Uh, today is Saturday, I had a, the first Saturday off in like a month, got up, had breakfast with my wife, ran around, did a bunch of car shopping, got home, my wife had some running to do, so I am going to sit down and take care of some well-needed reviews. The first product I'm going to talk about is the Raze RCC. Now, this came in the RCC kit. Now, let's back up. Let's back up uh, a couple weeks. A couple weeks ago, I'm on Facebook because that's what I do. And uh, I see an ad for a new Sigalike, uh, you know, PCC RCC. They, they call it the RCC for future reference, uh, the, uh, their charging case. Uh, I see this ad. This is, uh, you know, new product. Gives some uh, some tank like performance specs for a Sigalike, longer lasting battery. So, you know, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much right in my wheelhouse. That's that's what I love. So I send the company an email and I get a quick response back from a company rep, and we start talking and we start talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. So next thing you know, I got a bunch of stuff coming in the mail, and uh, I get I get it last Monday night. Uh, get home from work, you know, get all my stuff. I think I had 13 packages that day. Uh, go through, open a bunch of stuff up, tear through everything, get through this, get through that, get these out, open them up, break them out, tear everything up. You know, of course, I've destroyed the packaging. Put them in my shirt pocket, and that's where they've been all week. So it's Saturday now. I have been using this product as my go-to device. I take it with me every morning when I leave the house, and uh, it's all I've used all week. Now, short of using my EVIC or something like that to test some new juices that came in this week, um, this has been it. This is a cute little guy, isn't it? I'll use a standard stale cigarette for comparison. So it's a little bigger than a cig, but yeah, whatever. It's not overbearingly big. It's not one of those, you know, eight foot stick batteries. I'm going to vape it for you. And, I, and I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm going to blow the vapor directly at the camera. This is not a fresh battery off the charger. There's no gimmick here. This is exactly the battery and, and, and uh, cardio I've been using. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I primer puff everything. So it's, it's nothing against this product. I can give you a, I call it the reviewer puff. Hold on. That, folks, is a large amount of vapor out of a very small battery. So, let's let's get you there technically on how they make it happen. And this is this is not a new idea, but uh, mid 2013, three friends are together talking about e cigs and you know, you know this one's junk, that one's junk. This one lasts five minutes. This tank breaks and leaks liquid all over you. And I'm getting that one of the guys is a lot like me. He wants a stick battery and a charging case that you can put in your shirt pocket or coat or whatever and leave the house with and if you don't come back for 18 hours you're fine you don't have to worry everything's there for me guys that's that's where it's at I don't want to carry a mod this is where I need to be so they uh, they go on a little bit of a, a fact-finding mission and they talk to a bunch of manufacturers and they do some research and they come up with a a new product this is not rebranded 510 this is not rebranded 808 this is not technology from 2007 this is technology from 2014 so they get a brand new battery with their own proprietary threads and the first question i asked was why why do you everybody uses 510 or 808 why why new and he said i don't want anyone using another charger for this product. This battery operates specifically how we want it to operate. I don't want someone introducing a charger into that system that may or may not be equipped to charge this system. Okay, safety issue, I understand that. Well thought out guys, I gotta give it to you for that. Um, he said, I, I, want, I want to make sure the consumer is using the products that they need to use on my system. Okay, so in short they create a brand new product and it works. Uh, how? Okay, so without giving away information that I shouldn't give away, you take a battery with X amount of, of voltage. You take a cardo with X amount of resistance. You match them together and you make an efficient product that lasts longer per puff than comparable size batteries and cardos. By making the device more efficient, 
by making by matching or mating the battery to the cardo and working them in an efficient manner you get something that works more efficiently than some of the other products on the market and that's not a new idea uh, vapors have been doing stuff like that for years you know they say well if I, I should order some of this resistance cardos for my X device because I like the hit better or I like the flavor better or I like this and it's all about the sweet spot okay so they created the sweet spot for this battery and this cardo combo it's fantastic uh, it vapes very well I, I can't find uh, a whole lot of stuff wrong with it to be honest with you now the first thing I'm going to break down is the RCC the charging case itself okay in here you have one assembled unit which I will take out as I go okay the assembled unit that I've been holding you have one battery charging no gimmick it's it's actually the battery I was vaping this morning it's on the charger you have you actually have room for three cardos but I'm only currently I only currently have two in there I want to put my battery back on the charger no no screwing involved there folks you just you just take it and pop them in on the bottom you have a battery charging indicator and a PCC indicator. Now that currently says my PCC has two bars left, and my and my battery is charging its third bar right now. So the battery is almost recharged, and I have my go-to kit, my e-cig. So I'm going to vape this. Now about the battery. This is a regulated battery. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it's regulated to because I don't have permission to do that, but this is a regulated battery. This is their battery, and I actually put these cardos in here upside down, if you can see that. Because I want to take said battery, put it on said cardo, screw it on, pull it out. Yay! It's because I have these big Cro-Magnon fingers, and getting in here is sometimes tough for me if I'm driving or moving or whatever. So. Putting that cardo in there upside down allows me easier access. It's not a company idea, it's just something I came up with. I'm going to vape it. Now, I just pulled this cardo off. It, it's, it's a good performing battery. It, it's a good performing system. I, you know, I don't have a problem with it. Now, back to the company. So, they come around and they say, well, we're going to make a new product. And we are going to, you know, try to make the vaping. So we're going to try to introduce a tank-like system. Excuse me, tank-like performance in a analog equivalent system. So let's talk about the battery first. Then we'll go on to the cardo. This battery is a very good finish. I almost thought it was powder coated. Um, it's not that thin, papery. Uh, I won't, man, I won't mention the manufacturer that uses it, but they make a lot of stick batteries, let's say that. It, it doesn't just flake off, wear off in a day, okay? I've got a bunch of black batteries from them that are now you know, silver because the, the painting is just worn off. I almost thought it was powder coat. In fact, I sent an email to the company asking if it was powder coat, and they said, no, it's just thick paint. Well, that's a good paint job. Now you have a Cardo with their logo. It's, it's pretty much a wrap over their Cardo. It's not squishy, it's standard, you know, metal cardo. Nice system, high quality. Inside this box is, is what everything came in. And you guys, you've got to forgive me because I was pretty excited when I got this. So I just pretty much tore every, every package to shreds. It was all well wrapped and uh, fancy and nice. And now it looks like uh, a five-year-old threw it back in there. But uh, let's go through the contents fast. Typical USB charging cable. Product box. This would have had the USB charging cable, the wall charger that actually has their logo on the back. A very nice instruction manual that uh, tells you a lot about the the, uh, the RCC, the starter kit, gives you the warnings about Nick, you know how to use it, what it holds, you know basic stuff. If you're a new vapor and you don't have the experience that uh, a lot of us have. This is a pretty useful useful item. Now I'll try to wedge a bunch of this stuff back in here. And you would also have received a five pack of sample cardos. I've been through this, so this is this is empty. 
Um, I have tried to save some of them for you to uh, give you an idea about their flavors. Now, I, I'm trying not to skip around and go all through this, but I've saved a couple of these for you unopened. They have a plug in the bottom, so I'm going to take that plug out right now. They have the flavor on top. Let you know what you're vaping. This is going to be their grape flavor. And I want to read you the uh, description off the website. Now, I've actually had this out of another kit, but uh, it is grape ice. And uh, this is 16 milligrams. In fact, everything I got was 16 milligrams. I didn't get any of the zero. I didn't get any, you know. Uh, it's grape ice, a refreshing version of pure grape juice with a hint of cooling. The flavor starts with a robust grape topped with a slight mint finish. Now, I saved this for the review specifically because I, I had uh, really good feelings about it when I tested it. So I wanted to do it, you know, on the review. And I will screw this on my battery. This is no gimmick. This is a, this is a fresh cardo on this battery. This is my favorite flavor from them, if you hadn't guessed. And, and I'm, I'm breaking my rule because I don't normally blow vapor right at the camera. I think it's annoying when reviewers do that, but uh, that's another story. But I, I want to—I don't know how well the uh, the vapor translates on cam, so. I wanted to actually do that just to show you the thing puts out an amazing amount of vapor. Now, I'll, let's talk about battery life. These batteries are roughly 200 ma, uh, milliamp hours. I'm not going to give you an exact number because I don't have permission from the company to do that, but let's call this 200 on the low end. This RCC has been released, the number released is 1100 milliamp hours. So, you take the the well-matched battery, Cardo, and you have an efficient system, and you have a spare battery and three spare Cardos. Guys, that's enough for me for the day. I mean, I can get through an entire day on that. Uh, I can get through probably almost, uh, probably almost two days on that if I if I charge if I charge the case and had two charged batteries, and let's call it you know, three full Cardos. Now, I could get through two days on that. I mean, it, it used to take me about a day to go through one of these. So that's no, you know, that's that's not a stretch. And it's definitely not a stretch for new vapor. Now, like I said, all this doesn't apply if you sit on uh, the couch or the chair all day and chain vape for 18 hours a day. That This, this product is probably going to be a little bit light for you guys uh, because you're probably already using mods or building coils or clouds or, or whatever. This is really not that. This is a new vapor slash or Sigalite guy like me who wants to be able to put this in his shirt, go to work, work all day, come home, you know, vape, 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 or concert, go to a concert, hey, nice, you know, I want something portable. I want it to be able to go with me and do it. I, you know, I really like the product. The one thing that I, I wanted to remember to talk to you guys about in the review is these batteries carry a lifetime warranty. So, Let's not forget that because I don't know of another company out there right now that does that. You know, I don't know of someone else that will stand behind this product for, for its life and say, you know, we'll give you another one. Now, now as for Raise as a company, as I said, three friends pretty much got together, uh, built a new product, and are now launching that product. You'll see their ads on Facebook. You'll see ads on websites. They're going to be in Vape Magazine. They've got a bunch of... Uh, you know, a bunch of, of promo stuff going out, some of it I've seen. You know, I don't work for the company, so I don't want you to get that, that idea. I am not part of their sharing rewards program, which I'm going to talk about just briefly. As a reviewer, I don't feel it's ethical for myself to take part in any re rewards program for your website. So that's why at the bottom you don't ever see a promo code. I'm not an affiliate for anyone. Uh, I, I don't think it's ethical because Becoming an affiliate, basically what an affiliate does is they, they push a product through YouTube videos or through reviews or whatever, and at the end of the video they'll say, 
you know, if you go to this website and you give them, if you put in coupon code Bob213, you'll get a 25% discount. Well, typically what happens is that 25% discount goes in that reviewer's pocket. So it'd be hard to make a clear and ethical review if you're, if you're, if you're standing to make money on a product. So some people have sent me emails and said, Chuck, why don't you have a coupon code for Bob's Vapor? Now, you do reviews for them. Why don't you have a coupon code? Why can't you help me save money? Well, guys, it's not that. Trust me. If I, if I had some universal way of helping you save money, I would. But I don't think it's ethical for me to be a part of that because it would skew. I think it would skew the review process. Now, on to their sharing rewards program. If you go to their website and you get on their sharing rewards program, you can get all kinds of stuff. They're giving away a vacation. They're giving away gift cards, you know, there, there are tons of things to check out there, and I'm, I'm not going to overly get involved in that. Uh, to wrap up this 16-minute rant of a video, I'm going to talk about flavors briefly, and then I'm going to go on to uh, my next product. Uh, flavors. The very first flavor that I got from them was, I'm going to actually go back to, I'm flipping back to my notes, believe it or not, guys, because I actually took notes for this video. First flavor was apple pie. Now, the uh, one thing I want to tell you is all these flavors were, were very fresh out of the box. Uh, I don't believe they sat on a shelf somewhere for a year and it ended up with me. I think they were, were recently made, manufactured. They are 50-50. Now, I'm going to say this roughly because I don't have, I don't have a, an exact number from the company and I don't have permission to release that number. But I'm going to call these Cardo's 50-50 PG-VG ratio. So, that's me saying it, Okay. The, the company answer will be they are optimized to provide the best taste and vapor for the consumer. I'm fine with that. They don't want to say, great, I'm going to call it 50-50. Okay? Uh, the batteries, once again, are m me saying 200 milliamp hours. I'm not, I can't give you a number for this Cardo. I, I can, but I'm not going to. I don't have permission to do that, and I, I think it would be wrong for me to, to give you that number. But let's just say they are well-matched. Uh, back to flavors. The very first flavor that I had was apple pie. It was a very good flavor. I'm not a big apple guy. I'm not a big fruit guy, but, you know, whatever. Uh, it was good. Uh, I'll be vaping it in another review video. Triple Mai Tai was the next one. It was also good. Uh, a little bit on the fruity side for me, but, you know, all producing good throat hit at 16 milligrams and, you know, good performance, good life out of the Cardo. Third one was Crystal Mint. Crystal Mint's pretty much a standard menthol. Um... I liked it as well. I'm a menthol guy. I was a menthol smoker. And on to my favorite, grape ice, which is what's on here now, which I will actually be ordering some of for myself. Now, according to the company, each Cardo will last roughly 400 puffs. No one has ever defined exactly what a puff is. You know, I puff differently than a lot of people. Is that four puffs or is it one? Now, to me... You know, it could be interpreted either way. But regardless, I actually thought they wedged way more than the standard one milliliter of e-liquid in these Cardos. I'll leave it at that. I can't get into specifics, but I will say the Cardo performs better than the other stuff I have. Now, nicotine levels are as follows. Uh, the medium is what I vape from them at 16 milligrams of 1.6. They have zero Nick stuff available. They have light, which is 6, low, which is 12, and they will be introducing 24 soon. And, and that's good for new vapors. Lots of guys might want to start with 24. Now let's go to some negatives. Uh, I actually had to search for a few. My biggest negative, until I spoke with the company, were these threads. Now, they're good threads. I mean, you can see that I'm not having any problem. They're, they're very well manufactured threads. But I didn't want another device with another set of threads and something else to keep up with. Because believe it or not, guys, I'm going to continue to use this. It's been in my shirt pocket since Monday night. It's not going anywhere. My E-roll is not getting charged and not getting filled. I'm using this product. Okay, so let's stick with that. I didn't want new threads. And then he explained the charging idea to me. And I, and I understand why they don't... Uh, they don't want you monkeying with their their threads to thread something else on there and maybe create a potential hazard. Uh, my other issue were was, excuse me, Cardos. Their flavors are good, but guys, I've got liquid coming out of my ears. I've got some liquid that I vape every day, that I want to vape every day, that I like to vape every day. So, 
I, I sent a, an email in with probably 15 questions to my rep, and he has been incredibly patient because I have hammered these people with emails. I've never had a company bend over backwards so much for me in, 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 their, in my life. I mean, I have asked these guys stuff that I probably shouldn't have. But, you know, I'm one of those guys. i got to know exactly what's going on with everything. Where did it come from? Where would you get the idea? Who thought of it? You know, uh, am I allowed to say it in the review? So, they will be releasing Blank Cardos and Refill Liquid probably by the end of the month. That's my biggest thing, guys. I wanted to be able to buy Blank Cardos. So I could fill it myself with liquid I wanted and not have to, uh, you know, deal with it. If, if there was a flavor I didn't like, I wouldn't have to buy it. So, in conclusion, RCC system from uh, Race. Talk a little bit about price. This starter kit, from them, direct, eighty nine ninety nine. They have a free shipping option. Okay, that gives you roughly 1,600 milliamp hours in a box. They're saying 1,600 hits. Your mileage may vary. All right, so that's that's that. If you go to their Facebook page, they have various coupon codes and stuff. Like I said, I don't get involved in that. That is all them. Uh, I dig the look. I like the product. I like how the it appears to be metal. Uh, the cargo appears to be metal. It's a really good wrap, by the way. It has their logo on it. And they are going for the tank system. In conclusion, I am going to apologize because I'm sure there's stuff that I meant to talk about that I didn't. I'm going to do another review for the non-RCC kit, just the standard uh, two-battery kit. The dual kit is actually what they call it, and that review will be done here shortly. Thank you for watching, folks. Check them out, raisevapor.com. Chuck from Analog eSig. Thanks for watching the review.